The Callisto Protocol is a brand new survival horror game made up of a lot of the original team from the Dead Space series. Now, me being the huge survival horror fan that I am, I knew I had to play this game no matter what. So in this video, we are going for the Platinum Trophy for the Callisto Protocol. Now the process to get the Platinum Trophy is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is start the game on the hardest difficulty and basically just play through the story while getting all of the collectibles. In the Callisto Protocol, you play as a pilot named Jacob and we are transporting some cargo with our co-pilot. Right away, I gotta say the one thing this game does really right is the graphics. This game is beautiful. After a friendly conversation with our friend, we explore the ship and get the hang of the controls. And after checking up on our cargo to make sure it's still there, we get boarded by a different ship, which gives us the first trophy of the game. The Outer Way. We hit the airlock to vacuum out the people trying to board us, which in turn causes major issues for us and our ship, causing us to try and land on the snowy planet beneath us. After a crash landing, we find out that our co-pilot has died, and we are boarded by the dude from the Force Unleashed video games. Remember those games? So fun. Turns out the main girl of the Space Pirates is alive as well, and just when we think we're going to be rescued, we instead get imprisoned for some reason unknown to us. After going through rigorous in-processing, including getting a health bar screwed into the back of our necks, we awaken in our cell with a fresh new haircut and chaos all around us. Our cell opens by itself and we step outside for the first time. After exploring the prison for a bit, we find a man named Elias in a cell, who gives us a shiv and a trophy. Desperate times. We use the shiv Elias gave to us to open the door to the control tower so that we can open all of the cells, including Elias's. Here is where we are taught about combat for the very first time. Combat in this game is pretty controversial because essentially it's all about dodging, but all you have to do to dodge is either hold left or right on the left stick. That's it. You just hold left and then right or vice versa. After figuring out the combat, we fight our very first real enemy, and at this point, the combat seemed like it would be fun. What the hell is that thing? Oh, gross. Oh, shoot. Oh! Oh! Get out of here! Flesh wound. <laughs> yeah. What was use a melee or ranged weapons to take both arms off a living enemy? Hell yeah. Get absolutely destroyed. After opening up all the prison cells, I explore around the prison while fighting tons of monsters and sneaking past robots until eventually I come across the first real weapon of the game. An electric baton. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. With the baton equipped, I also find out that the game has environmental traps that I can use to my advantage. Oh, <laughs> what you doing? Just hanging out? Eventually, we run back into Captain Ferris, aka the dude from Force Unleashed, and he whips us around with his force powers before being tackled out of a window by some monsters. I'm sure he's super dead and we will never see him again. Eventually, we meet up with our buddy Elias, and he hands us a gun part that we can take to the Reed Ford station to craft our first gun in the game. B-155 pistol hand cannon. Let's do it. Paper jams. Print a weapon for the first time. I split up with Elias for now, and I find myself a grip glove that gives me the power of telekinesis which will become super handy for the rest of the game. I then find another reforged station and get a trophy for upgrading my baton. Reforged. Print a weapon upgrade. After surviving a couple jump scares. Oh my God. What the hell? What is this thing? Uh. That is disgusting. What the hell is that? Oh! There's another one! I use my telekinesis to throw an enemy into an environmental hazard. Yeah. <laughs> Workplace hazard. Use the GRP to kill an enemy by throwing him into an environmental hazard. After that last trophy, I decided to go for a trophy where I had to throw an enemy with my telekinesis and then kill them with my next hit of the baton. 
There we go. In striking distance. <laughs> we eventually meet up with Elias again, and I get a trophy for making my way towards this area called the shoe. If the shoe fits, activate the shoe. Once inside the shoe, we come across a room where I basically have to survive a wave of enemies while I wait for a door to open. I decide to use this opportunity to practice my meat grinding skills. Your turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh man, the meat grind is real. What? Chew him up! Kill 10 enemies with environmental hazards. I, I died. I keep dying while getting these trophies. <laughs> the reason we are in the shoe is to find Elias' friend, Cell, and free them. This friend can supposedly help us escape the prison. On my way to the cell, I get another trophy for using my telekinesis a bunch of times. I love this power so much. Get a grip. What's that one? Grab 25 enemies with the GRP. Man, we're just racking up trophies right now. We get to the cell and it turns out the friend we are trying to rescue is the space pirate that originally boarded our ship. After a bit of arguing, Elias calms everyone down and we eventually all get separated in classic survival horror fashion. I eventually come across an area with a wandering robot, which was a perfect opportunity to get another trophy. Okay, so there's a trophy in the game for shooting off a robot's head and killing it. So let's do this. Combat. Resuming. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't expect him to just be able to one-shot me though. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> let's try that again. Like I said, there's a trophy for shooting off the robot's head. Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. Oh god. Oh god. It's on me. Where's that? Where's that? We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, how many shots does it take, guys? How many shots does it take? There it is. Terminated. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's just pretend that first part didn't happen. <laughs> After exploring a bit, we find ourselves deep underground in a sewer, when suddenly we get washed away by a ton of water, which leads to a very classic Dead Spacey set piece. Okay. Oh, we're sliding. Oh, this is like classic Dead Space stuff right here. Wee. <laughs> Okay, oh, actually, probably shouldn't hit these. Oh, probably shouldn't hit that. Okay. Oh, his tailbone. His tailbone's broken, dude. No way. What the hell? Oh, I thought for sure his foot was cut off there. Oh my god, what is happening? Jeez! Oh, there's fans now? Oh, great. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Huh. Huh. Ah. Oh! Oh! This is still going. This is still happening. Oh! What the hell is that thing? Triangle. Oh my god. Get away from me. Oh no. Oh, it's the spider thingies. Get off of me. Yeah, exactly what he said. Without a paddle. Hey, that's a good movie. What is that? Yeah, we survived the pipe slide. <laughs> Man. If that was real life, I would have died. Just saying. Ain't no way. I would have been dead. After making it through an area where it literally rains blood, we meet up with Elias again and go over our plan to escape. While we were having a very heartfelt conversation with each other about our pasts, we are rudely interrupted by Captain Ferris, who is still alive.
Now we find ourselves out in the cold alone and we need to find Elias. We wander through the snow, killing some snow monsters along the way, when we finally come upon Elias, who is dying in the snow. Jacob wants to try and save him, but it's already too late. After Elias dies, Danny, the space pirate girl, rolls up on us and steals Elias' neck health bar thing so that she can access his memories to find out how to escape. She leaves us behind and we are yet again alone. Eventually, we find ourselves in a room where Danny is trapped with some monsters. We help her kill a ton of these creatures and afterwards have a conversation with her. We decide to work together for now to escape and she gives us a shotgun as a peace offering. What'd she give me? It's like a shotgun? Looks like a shotgun. Yep, right shotgun. Nice, hell yeah. We kill a ton more snow monsters and take a ride with Danny in a giant snowmobile back to our crashed ship from the beginning of the game. Once we enter the ship, we get a trophy. Crash site. Return to the crash ship. Here we are. Back to where it all began. <laughs> The reason for visiting our ship is that Danny suspects the cargo we are transporting to be the cause of an outbreak on the planet Europa. We tell her we have no idea what she's talking about and show her the cargo, which is just filled with medical supplies. With that out of the way, we make our way through a facility and up to the flight deck for a trophy. In the pipe, 5x5. Five five. Reach the hangar flight deck. Alright. While on the flight deck, we are attacked by the Warden, and Jacob has yet again another very Dead Spacey set piece of him falling and dodging debris. After a crash landing, we awake and find ourselves rescued by Danny. Turns out we are now in Arcus, which is a secret underground city that was built below the prison. Danny decides we need to cut through the city and find our way back to the prison so we can find out why the Warden wanted us killed. I follow Danny through a collapsing tower when all of a sudden I miss a jump and fall down. Come on. Jacob! We awaken hanging upside down and are introduced to a new enemy of the game. These guys are completely blind and usually roam in packs. They do, however, have a weakness, and that is that they are real dumb and can be backstabbed for an insta-kill. With that knowledge in mind, I make my way through this very creepy area and backstab as many as I can, which actually gives me a trophy. Does that count as a sound? I don't think it counts as a sound. Let me just get some of these backstabs here. There it is. Give him back. <laughs> My sneak is maxed to 100. I sneak around a bit more while killing like a million of these blind enemies when I eventually stumble upon a secret room which gives me a trophy. Oh my god! The commonality. What is this? Uncover the mysteries of Calopolis? Calopolis? I think that's for finding all the secret rooms, maybe? Also, I'm getting eaten. God. Hate these things. We then find ourselves in an underground generator room where we have to hit three switches in order to power up a moving platform elsewhere in the area. So I hit all three switches while massacring the entire area. And we get a trophy. Power up. Restore the power to the old facility. We get to the moving platform that we powered on and start riding it through a tunnel. As we make our way through the tunnel, we kill wave after wave of enemies until all of a sudden the first quote unquote boss fight of the game shows up. A giant two headed creature who one hit kills you. Oh dude, what is this? No, I don't, I don't think I will. I refuse. What the hell are you? Did he just one-shot me? Dude, he just punched me one time. Killed me. Jeez! Now do I beat him up? Oh, now I beat him up. Yep, yep. Uh, 
Ew, dude. Oh, this is so like this constant dodge is gonna make me like want to throw up. Uh. There we go. Yep. Yep. Two heads are better than one. Take down the two head. You're done, two head. That was honestly the constant doing this. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh my god. After the boss fight, we meet up with Danny and make our way through an underground city that seems to also have been hit by this outbreak that affected the prison. Eventually, we come across a lab and learn of the source of the outbreak, which is this giant dead alien. This giant alien was basically producing offspring that these scientists were using to try and create the next step in human evolution. Again, very dead spacey. We also find out that Jacob's cargo he was transferring actually did have a secret compartment underneath, which had these parasites, which means Jacob was partially responsible for the recent outbreaks. Captain Ferris then decides to stop by, all jacked up on Mountain Dew, and we get into a little tussle. After kicking his ass a bit, we escape with Danny, but she has become infected. So now the plan of action is to find her a cure and save her life. The plan is to make it up to the warden's office, and maybe he'll have answers and a cure for Danny. As we were making our way there, we were ambushed by a robot and thrown back into our cell where the game first began. Full circle. Get thrown back into the original cell. <laughs> so at this point, we are nearing the end of the game, and I had a couple of miscellaneous trophies to clean up. First, I found the last of the collectibles for a trophy. Here's another collectible right here. Oh, Grim Reaper. Harvest and read all implant bios. Oh, I think that's all of the collectibles. Yes. Sick, thank god. <laughs> no more collectibles. I then fully upgraded one gun. You need a gun. All right, we fully upgraded one weapon. Perfect. And lastly, I had to take an in-game screenshot for a trophy. Mugshot. There we go. With all the miscellaneous trophies done, it was time to confront the warden. So the warden gives us this big bad guy monologue before he unleashes Captain Ferris on us one more time. Captain Ferris eventually turns into this super gross Resident Evil type monster thing and we have to kill him once and for all. Unfortunately, I had basically no health at the start of the fight so I really had to struggle to survive. What? Dude, no. I'm pretty much one shot right now. Pretty much one shot. Can I just get out my assault rifle? Oh god, oh god, stay away from me, you crazy monster. Oh! Thank god I got that block upgrade, huh? Dude, what the hell? Oh no. Oh no, what is this fight? I have one HP, let me heal. I guess it doesn't really matter if I have one HP. They'll probably just one shot me anyways. Oh my God, no way. Guys, I, why do I have one HP right now? Why, <laughs> this sucks, oh no. Oh no. Okay, so that's like, it's not negating all the damage, it's just giving me chip damage. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me that health. Give me that, give me that, whatever that is. 16 assault rifle ammo, I'll take it. Ugh. Yes. Did we do it?
I think we did it. I think we did it. Don't tell me there's like a second phase or a third phase. Please. Thankfully, there was no second or third phase, and we extract some monster juice from Captain Ferris and use it to cure Danny. The facility around us starts to blow up, and we put Danny on the only escape pod out of the area as Danny watches Jacob die in the explosion. Or does he? I do belong here. It's that one. Beat the game on any difficulty. Okay. The protocol is about life? Beat the game on maximum security difficulty. And it's over, Jacob. There it is, guys. The Platinum. So there we have it, guys. The Callisto Protocol Platinum. I know this game's getting a lot of heat because it's not as good as Dead Space. And it's just overall wasn't what people were expecting. I gotta say, I had fun playing through this game. It's definitely more of a wait for a sale type of game. But overall, I had fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more Platinum Trophy Hunting videos. And check out this video right here, guys.